Hello, my name is activist Eve Trejo. I am here with a victim of attempted rape, harassment, brutality, and assault. So, come on, please. What's your name? My name is Perry. Perry, yeah. She said her name is Perry. So, um, <clears throat> some time ago, you were beaten, you were attempted to be raped by some suspected courtist there in Benin. How did it come about? Yeah, it's true actually. So, I was beaten and humiliated by some courtist boys in Benin. And it happened recently. It was a shock to me actually. So, it was because they said I did a video. They said I did a video and the video was their song, I don't know. So, they confronted me because I used that song. Say why I should why should I use uh, their song of uh, courtist to do a video on TikTok? For me, I didn't. I'm not a courtist. I'm not a member of any court. How did you come about that song? It was on TikTok. So you saw it on the internet. Yes, I saw it on the internet, and it, the song is already recorded there. It's just for me to display in it, and you know. And the only reason I did that was to gain follower on TikTok and. To be popular because I also saw people doing it that's why I did mine too and I liked it so I didn't do it out of maybe I'm a court member or maybe I belong to any court group or so I was surprised when this tragedy actually happened to me so right now I'm actually confused and I don't know what to do so at this stage now I'm in Benin and I'm actually at home. I don't. I don't. I can't come out. I, I don't come out. I just I'm in door and I don't do anything. I, I'm confused and I need help. Okay, talking about needing help. My comrade in Asaba, Guamni Chihari, said, um, assisted in arresting some of those guys. We took up the issue too. We wrote to Zone Five and Zone Five minuted that the issue be um, investigated by the OC anti-kidnap state CID Benin. What do you have to say about three of the boys being arrested? Are they really the boys that did that to you? And how many are they in numbers? There are six or seven precisely, if I'm not mistaken, yes. And those boys that they caught in state now, they are, they are the boys that did the same thing to me. Where did they pick you from? They picked me from a bar named the Polingo. In Benin? In Benin, yes. They so took they, me from a Where did they take you to? So they took me to a sharp corner, first of all. Then from there, I, I was surrounded by extra two boys, with the one that came to call me. So I was confused, like, ah, what's going on here? What happened? Ah, what's going on? Why are they calling me here for? What, are the, what is the reason for them calling me here? So the other one said I should wait, that someone is coming to show me something, that if it's me, then there's no... If it's me, that I should wait, but if it's not me, then there's no problem. So I waited. During our waiting period, I couldn't wait anymore because it was taking much longer. So I decided to tell them that I can't wait anymore and I want to leave. So the other guy refused and said I should wait till that guy, the other guy that wants to see me comes first, that they have something to show me on phone. So in that process while we were talking, another guy came and passed, asked me a question that if I was on TikTok, and I said to him, okay, yes, I'm, in, I'm on TikTok. After that, the same guy that came to call me asked me, do you know a girl calls, so there's one girl named Ototo, I don't know. So that one, I told him that, yes, I know that girl also. That was the only question they asked me. From there, they decided that I should follow them to somewhere. The boy is waiting for me there, that I should follow them along, I should wait and follow them along. How did they take you there? Did they force you? Or were they carrying any ammunition, maybe yes, knife or yes, something? Yes, 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 they were, they were gone. Yeah, they were they holding guns. Gone. Yeah, yes, they were, they were holding gone. And the other one said, okay, I must follow them. I said, no, I don't want to go because I don't know the reason for this. Uh -huh. So they said, clear, question for no accusation that I should follow them because I don't, I, if I know I didn't do anything wrong, why am I withdrawing back to follow them? I said, okay, I'm not, I'm not a bad person. I don't steal. I don't do anything evil. I didn't do anything. So why would I follow you people to whatever, wherever you people are going? Then they say I must follow them. They started insisting. The other one hold me in my hand and said, okay, I must follow them, I must follow them. And I said, okay. At that point, where they pointed the gun at you? 
At that point, no, they were not pointing the gun at me at that point, it's not there. So it was when I entered the keke, the one of them were making call from the, along the road, we were going inside the street, the Covenant Road. Then along the road, another guy came and passed through and entered the keke. Then there became three and me inside. So I started, I was scared. I started imagine, imagine I was reasoning differently, like, oh, what wrong did I do this time around to make these guys to come and carry me away from that place like this? So I was confused. So I told them that, okay, I want to withdraw back. I want to come down from the keke that I can't go any more. So that was how it happened. And then they, they started talking on phone with another guy again. Another guy now came inside the keke. Before they carried me to a place, a particular place, which is that of concreted building, they stopped at the roadside and then started dragging me in. Started dragging me in that I'm the guy that did one TikTok video. And I said, ah, I'm sorry, I didn't know. I begged. I begged them that I didn't know. At what point did they start beating you? And in the video, I saw that you went, they naked you and they were turning a liquid yes. on your head and all this. Ah, is, is, is it that they urinated on you? Or? They, they urinated on me, actually. All of them. All these other things. Three of the boys have been arrested to state CID Benin. I think I spoke with the Ocean to kidnap in charge of the matter this morning. And um, are you are you being threatened right now? Because even some of us that took up this case in our Facebook page, we see a lot of them threatening us that they are going to do this. Are you now that three of them have been arrested, the other three they are at large. Are you being threatened right now by some of them? Actually, no. But I'm still scared. Because of what happened? Yes, because I'm scared about everything that they said the song I used. I was not supposed to use the, use the song and all that. I'm still scared. I don't, I don't even want to be in Benin here anymore. I just need help, support. So, so are, you, are, you, are you crying for justice or you just want to... You need financial support. You need justice to be done. You need something to take care of Benin and you want to relocate out of Benin. Or something. What are those psychological um, um, threats you are facing right now? Yeah, I need actually. I need justice. Okay. I need justice from this. Because what they did to me is actually, it's not. It's not okay for the eyes to see. It's not okay. So, I need justice, and I need. I want to leave Benin, especially that. I need justice, and I. I just. I just need. I just need help. Because right now I don't even know what to do anymore. So it's okay. Um, it's okay. Did you really rape you? Actually, they didn't rape me, but they beat me to the extent that I even fainted there. Yes, they beat me very mercilessly. They treated me like I was not even a human. So how did they escape out of that place? After they were done beating me and all that, so they saw me. I was getting unconscious. Because they were already attempting to kill me. Even one of them brought out gun. One of them brought out gun already. That, that they were saying, I saw the gun. The one that brought out gun from his bag, his brown bag that he was holding, he brought out the gun and they said, okay, they should just shoot me and then. But I just said, ah, I was begging. I was begging them. I just told them that they should just take me as their sister. That they should pity me, my mom, my parents, my family, that they should kill me. I was begging for my life at that point. So they were beating me, beating me still pouring sort of, I don't even know. So I was begging for my life. So after then, confusion came and one of them said, okay, they should shoot me. The rest were assisting. One of them said no. The that rest was, were insisting that they should yes, shoot Yes, they should shoot me there and then leave me and then they walk away. But one of them said he's not among that stuff, that he, he doesn't want to interfere in such. So he left. When he left, they started leaving one by one and then they left me there unconscious because they were already seen I was, I was already unconscious there on the ground, where they actually naked me, where they were beating me. I was unconscious already, so that was how the coffee shop came between them and then they left. So how did you got clothes and those things? Did they take your phone? Actually, my phone, no, because I was not carrying my phone that day. Okay. But I lost money. I lost money that day. I don't even know because slap and blow, different things were coming from different angle, different place. Like, I couldn't even know. I don't even know if money or how my money left me or uh -huh. the one that was tearing the clothes on me, taking the clothes off me, everything. So that was how it happened. Wow. So what, how are you seeing this routine? How are you taking it right now? What do you want? 
actually I need help. I just need to leave Benin and I need to leave. I mean, this is too much for me because the whole world I've seen my nakedness and it's too much for me to be alone. I can't take it. I just need them to leave me and I need help. I need justice because everything that has happened to me is, is not good. It's okay. It's okay. Um, um, Perry, and um, we want to assure you that justice will be done. And um, the police, please, we are calling for justice. She needs help. We are calling on the civil society organizations. She needs justice. We are calling on the government. She needs to leave Benin. It's psychologically damaging on her. And we are calling on the governor to come to our aid to ensure justice is done. And this girl is empowered to leave that environment because it's psychologically damaging for her to be in the same environment where she was tortured almost to death because of what happened. We are also calling on the governor of Delta State, Senator Dr. Ifai Okoa. She is a Delta living in the Delta State. She needs every support we can give to her. So thank you very much. And um, also, the police should not compromise this matter. Because of course, I've been in touch with the Ocean to kidnap a Delta State handling this matter. And, um, he has promised that the issue will be charged to court and um, they will be made to face the consequences of the law. So I remember my humble self activist is Dred Joe speaking with the victim of this um, of torture. Thank you very much.